students from here we are starting capacitance and this is also known as electrostatics 2 what is a capacitor let us understand this first of all capacitor is a device that stores charge and potential energy a device which stores the charge and obviously potential energy will also be there because if charges are there then their potential energy is also there so capacitance is the measurement of that capacitor of its capacity to store the charge and this we see in somewhat this way you might have seen the electronic circuits in this you have seen this type of devices in which two wires are there it is cylindrical normally inside this paper capacitance is there to both the wires different different papers are connected and they are kept by folding just like two plates so this type of device is used in our circuits this is called capacitor previously they were also known as the condenser condenser so this condenser is bigger you might have heard the word condenser this is big white cylinder it is used in your fans it is also called condenser so names are different capacitor became our device whose work is to store the charge and this charge again we get and this potential energy is released slowly or fastly according to the application of the capacitance capacitance of the device so how we will be finding the capacitance of the device and how the device stores the charge this we have to see and first of all let us understand the concept of the capacitance how we have defined a capacitance so come let us see the capacitance for an isolated conductor how the capacitance is if we take a vessel in that vessel we fill the water or such liquid so as you will be filling the quantity of the water suppose q the liquid level will be rising so capacity is this volume if we talk about this whole volume then it will be the whole capacity but if we talk about the capacitance then what capacitance will be see this height h so here the capacitance of this water will be it will be q by h you can see it very clearly if h is less h is less for which h will be less for a vessel whose surface area is more if you fill the same amount in this also then for this h will be less that means its capacitance is more its capacitance is more don't see its height see till less height it will be filled so we'll be defining the capacity how much capacity is so it will be the total volume so ideal in the ideal cases we see so come let us see forward so now we are seeing capacitance of a isolated conductor if we are having a conductor suppose we have a conductor of any shape if you provide a charge q on it then what will happen charge q we are providing then its voltage will be v obviously it will be increasing the voltage if you are supplying it with charge then voltage increase will be there so clearly you can see here the voltage induced is proportional to the charge so the capacitance is defined in this way the capacitance is defined as charge per volt so our capacitance will be q that is the charge supplied or charge held by the conductor divided by the voltage so this is the capacitance what will be its unit what will be the unit of the c this is coulomb by volt and that is equal to coulomb by volt is known as farad the unit of the capacitance is unit of c that is capacitance is equals to farad which we call it as capital f it is also known as capital f sometimes in fact we call it as capital f 
and here instead of f we use mu f mu f that is microfarad 10 to the power minus 6 farad or c microfarad or picofarad that is small p into f that is 10 to the power minus 12 that is picofarad so these are smaller units these are used farad becomes a very big unit in fact so you want a device which stores the charge but you will be seeing a limit to store the charge on it because if you will be providing the charge providing the charge then the potential will be increasing one point will be coming at which the potential breakdown will be there so breakdown means the surrounding medium or the air there is so the so in that medium of the air this charge will flow because on suddenly increasing the voltage even the air will start conduction the molecules of the air will break up and electrons and ion will be formed and from there the current will be flowing because charge always moves from higher voltage to lower voltage therefore electric breakdown will be there and whatever the medium will be there from it charge will be flowing and from here the charge will disappear so you can provide a charge to it up to a certain limit only after that you cannot provide charge to it so we need to do something to increase the capacitance so for this we should know the factors affecting the capacitance suppose i have given it a charge q so what is the first factor which i see the first factor which i see is i have provided the charge q so the voltage now become v if i placed another conductor near it then what will happen due to the second conductor what will happen there will be negative charge induced on this conductor and in the back side positive will be induced so what is the effect of this conductor on the potential of this due to this negative here negative potential will be there due to this positive here positive potential will be there but this positive is far away this negative is nearer therefore the effect of the negative will be more here as compared to the effect of the positive and due to this negative it will be negative here it will be more negative as compared to this positive so overall due to this the potential induced here will be negative so its potential will become somewhat lower than that of v so due to the presence of this due to the presence of this its potential will decrease so here we will be writing presence of other conductor near to charged conductor this is very simple second thing if i have grounded it if i have grounded it then what will happen due to grounding this positive will go in the ground so there will be no charge left here this charge will disappear this charge will disappear this charge will disappear so due to the disappearing of this positive only negative will be left here and its potential now it will be more negative because this effect due to the positive is now vanished so the negative will increase so the potential will decrease more so keeping a grounded conductor near to a charged conductor so near the charged conductor if we keep a grounded conductor then its capacitor will increase so the charge which we are providing so its voltage will not increase that much as it should be so this in a sense we are making a device for now we were only talking about an isolated conductor its capacity was q was q by v and its capacitance was c is equals to q by v now we are planning to do something we are changing the factor so its capacity increases so what are the types of devices are there let us see parallel bit capacitor are there cylindrical capacitor are there and spherical capacitors are there so that will be seeing but their principles is same so come let us see forward method to find capacitance method to find capacitance any device we will be seeing like we will be seeing a parallel plate capacitor one spherical capacitor will be seeing or we will be seeing the cylindrical capacitor or two spheres placed near each other in this way this is a capacitor also so many devices we will be seeing
So what is the method to find the capacitance of all these devices?